Hello guys, today we're going to read How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And yes, I'm changing my thing. Grinch Stole Christmas. What does that say? Four teddy arms. Every who down in Hoovu like Christmas. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Hillville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were on were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. It's just three sizes too small, but okay. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the Who's. At the warm light, lighted windows, ooh, low in their town, for he knew every who down in Hoover beneath was too busy now hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled. Tomorrow's Christmas is practically here. Then he, then he ground with, the, with his grinch finger nervously, drumming, I must find, I must find, I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming for tomorrow he knew all the who boy girls and boys would wake bright and early they'd rush for their toys and then oh the noise oh the noise 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 what that's one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. Does he have a sledgehammer down there? He says sledgehammer. Then the who's young and old would sit down to a feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, and they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who roast beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand the least. And then they did something every, he he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought this Who Christmas sing, why, for 53 years I've put up with it. Now I must stop Chris, this Christmas from coming, but how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat. He made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat, and he chuckled and, and chuckled. What a great Grinchy trick with his coat and his hat. I took, I, I look just like Saint, Saint Nick. All I need is reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are Saint Scarens, there was none to be found. Did. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, If I can't find a real one, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, then took some red thread 
and tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on Ramshake's shackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. Then the Grinch said, Giddy up. And the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Hoos lay, lay a snooze in their town. All their windows filled with air. All those, wait, all their windows were dark, quiet, quiet snow filled the air. All the Hoos were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. Then he came to the first little house on the square. This stop number one, old Grinchy Claus his and climbed to the roof, the empty bag in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa Claus could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace, flew. Were the little who stockings all hung in a row? These stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. One, two, three. Five kids, wow. Then he, then he slithered in smoke with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room and took every present pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums. Checkboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags. One by one up the chimney. Why is there food down here? He, okay. Then he swung to the ice box. He took the who's feast. He took the who pudding. He took the real beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch even took the last can of who hash? Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, when the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. The Grinch grabbed the tree and started to shove when he heard a small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and saw a small who, little Cindy Lou, who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But, but you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot? The fix Auntie Claus lied. There what there's a light on this tree that won't light up when 
on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, and then I'll bring it back here. His fib pulled the child, then he patted her head and got her a drink and sent her to bed. And Cindy Lou, who went to bed with their cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Why is she looking at him? Then the last thing he took was a log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. There's a crack in the book. I don't know if y'all can see there's a crack in the book. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And one speck of food that, was, that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then, he did the same thing to the other whose houses, even comes to much too small for the others who do mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the who's still abed, all the who's still a snooze, when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, the tags, and the tinsel, and the trimmings, the trappings. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mr. Crumpet, he rode with the with his load to the tip top. We dump it. Poo poo. Or poo hoo. To the who's. He was grinchously humming. They fi they're finding out now that no Christmas was coming. Coming. They're just waking up. I know that. I know just what they'll do. Their mouth will hang open in a minute or two. The who's will down in Hoover will cry, boo hoo. The noise grinned the Grinch. I was simply here. So he passed, paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And did he hear a sound? Rising over the snow, I started in low, then he, then it started to grow. But the sound was not sad, while the sound was very merry. He couldn't so be, but it was very merry, very, but it was merry, very. He started down at Hulu. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking sh surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or the other, it came just the same. At the Grinch... He was, his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. It, and, it, and he puzzled three hours till the puzzler was snore. Okay. The Grinch thought, of something he hadn't before. Maybe he thought it d it doesn't maybe Christmas he thought doesn't come from a store. Maybe perhaps it means a Christmas maybe Christmas perhaps means a little more a bit more. And what happened then? Well in Whoville they said 
The Grinchy Small Heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whisked with the load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Doctors. Okay, wait. I'm not gonna read that. So, bye, guys. I hope you have a nice day. And peace.